Hi, welcome to my first YouTube post in ages. Today I'm going to be taking you through the process of how I draw fruit in my style with like commentary here and there throughout the video. So let's get right into it. Plus, there is a little announcement I'm making at the end of this video, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is how I started my sketch process. So first I start off by like, as you can see, I made a little sketch in like a little notebook that was just like for scrap paper or whatever. And I just like sketched out what I wanted it to look like. And I uploaded it digitally so that I can draw over it as like a under sketch type of thing for my final sketch <laughs> and yeah as you can see I'm using it as like a guide so that it would stay kind of in the same like how can I put it the same like size for like a YouTube border I wanted it, all the fruits to be able to fit and having that guideline is what really helped and as you can see I actually had pigment in it but I ended up scrapping that idea like, it just got too cluttered and too full but drawing pikmin with fruit is something that i'm 100 percent gonna revisit it just didn't work here but before i get too ahead of myself i always get people asking what like materials i use so i don't know the tablet i use off the top of my head but when i'm editing it i'm gonna like put it on the screen so i use that tablet and i use a generation i think a first generation apple pencil the one with like the metal band yeah i use that pencil and then the the drawing program i'm using here is medibang and i've really been wanting to branch out with different um drawing programs because i want to do speed paint because as you can see this is like screen recorded and you can see like all my movements i'm doing which is kind of kind of good kind of good so you can really get an understanding of how i draw and stuff but i do want to do like speed draws but yeah as you can see here i'm starting to draw the watermelon and this one was actually one of my faves because it was, it was really simple but also it was hard because it was the first time i ever like drew drew a watermelon i was really obsessed with this design while i was doing it so much so that I actually made keychains out of this to sell as and you'll see that at the end of the video I'm going to be showing all that but yeah if you didn't like know already from what I just said the little announcement that I was going to make is about merch and stuff but enough about that enough about that pretty much this drawing was um it was like fun but annoying at the same time because uh as you can see it was like i was learning how to draw these fruits because i've a lot of the fruits that i chose to draw in this video are fruits i've never drawn before because i want to draw like a whole new line of fruits so yeah this was pretty tricky but it was really fun and i like how it turned out so that's good that's good since I'm done talking about this watermelon, I'm going to mention a lot of people have been asking me for tutorials, but honestly, I don't really know how to like make a tutorial on how to draw fruit. So I figured like doing like a video like this would be the next best thing. So hopefully, hopefully uh, this will help you guys if you want to take inspiration or if you're inspired to draw fruit, if you see my videos, hopefully watching this will help you uh create your own style of fruit or whatever because when i'm drawing it's like i i'm pretty sure i could draw it realistically but like like what how much fun is that so yeah i just created this little style i don't really know what to call it a lot of people are like well what is this style called or how did you create it i honestly don't know i just applied my skills uh of how i draw people and i applied it to how i draw like fruit and yeah i tried to stay within that same kind of like i don't want to say anime but like kind of cartoonish uh, realm 
but you can see a lot of my um different techniques i use uh translate from my people drawings to my fruit so yeah as you can see right here uh, a thing that i like to do when i'm drawing is to like especially fruit is outline the white highlights with a uh, blue because it just pops and it like kind of separates it and plus i really like blue because i just add it to like almost every drawing i do i don't know why i don't know where i started to do that but yeah i like i like it and as you can see i'm adding like droplets because i wanted this to be kind of summery and like tropical because I was drawing, I don't know when this video is going to drop because I've been working on this for the longest time. But I was like drawing this like when it was snowing outside. So I was like really inspired and aching for some summery vibes. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for, uh, for this fruit. I started adding like sparkles and stuff because it's just really nice. I like to add the sparkle with little um, stars and stuff. Really nice. Make it look kind of like shiny little droplets. Yeah, that's pretty much how this one turned out. Really like it. Um, 10 out of 10. I'm definitely going to try to draw watermelon a lot more and maybe like even cut open so definitely going to be designing some more i wonder if i should like record that too i'm not sure if this if this video does good i'll do another video drawing more fruit but like in packaging and stuff but anyways back to this this is um probably the trickiest fruit i had to draw because it was like i had to individually render each little hexagon that's what it's called hexagon a uh, little pineapple piece thing and i was just like i was going to like scrap this one because i didn't want um what's that thing where it's like a, a phobia of like little uh, i don't know nooks or holes or whatever i didn't want to give it that vibe because i was starting to get like hmm how this like i was like how do i get that little the little crevices and details without making it look like too realistic or like nasty looking or whatever <laughs> so i was going to scrap it but in the end this is not my favorite design but it definitely pulled itself together somehow but i think it's cute me personally i don't even like water um not watermelon what is this called pineapple <laughs> i don't even like pineapple visually on its own i mean it's a good it's like the post uh like it's like the tropical fruit it's like a tropical fruit that everyone knows it for being like a tropical fruit or whatever but i don't know i just added it there because it was like a good contrast and color like the whole thing's yellow but in a, a realistic pineapple it's not that appealing to me to be honest but nonetheless nonetheless i still like this design i still like the design but it's not one of my favorites i'm gonna be honest I did have fun though. It was really good learning experience. So at least I got that out of this. The leaves, I don't know why, but they were tricky for me for some reason. But in the end, I ended up pulling this together pretty good and I, I'm okay with it the little droplets i had to like turn the saturation up and stuff but other than that really good really good okay on to my prize possession and probably my favorite fruit ever to draw or to like stylize and design is actually no 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 this is not my favorite but we'll get to my favorite later but this cherry or just cherries in general are literally my favorite fruit to um not my favorite i keep saying my favorite i just really like that it's like second it's my second favorite to like render it's just so easy 
And I don't even know why I'd be adding texture to them, but I like it because there's literally no texture on the cherry, but that's just how I like the, them to look. And I, it's so easy. Like this is like the, one of my easiest fruits to render. It literally is the easiest fruit for me to like render in my style or whatever. And it's just nothing much I could say about this other than like, yeah, she's literally perfect. Like, I love her. Like, out of all the cherries, and I'll put them on the side. Like, here's all the cherries I've drawn. These ones are, like, the best. And I feel like that's why I'm, I'm kind of happy that I decided to um, try drawing my, like, fruit style digitally. Because it, it, like, it, like um, cartoonized it, like, completely. Like, the style changed a lot from traditional to digital. But that's okay, because I honestly like the digital a little bit more than traditional. Yeah, I said it the digital is kind of beating the traditional for me but i still like my traditional don't get me wrong but digital is eating down because this is like such a cute cherry it's my favorite one this might actually mm, no 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 this is my third favorite this is my third favorite this is my third favorite and um watermelon watermelon my fourth favorite but yeah love how the cherry turned out cherry is amazing absolutely amazing now to the mango a lot of you have proven to me that you guys like mangoes a lot as you can see it was my first video i posted on instagram and it blew up crazy it's like i was so excited and so happy i was so like i was so grateful and happy that it actually like was reciprocated well because i was actually nervous and i probably would have not posted reels on um instagram if it didn't do well or i don't know i would just like had this in my head that it was gonna like you know how people say that everyone on instagram is like like rude because like <laughs> everyone on like instagram reels are like rude but that wasn't the case i got a lot of love really love this um mango and it's just perfect it really is i like this one actually better than the the traditional one now the strawberry i'm gonna be honest this was actually difficult almost as difficult as the um pineapple in the sense that it's like i didn't want to render the inside of the not render how do i say it? uh stylize it too much because i didn't want it to look nasty or whatever if i added too much details or whatever I don't know why I always get scared that if I over render something, that's why I kind of simplified it a little bit. Um, like my art style when I went digital, cause digital, you could just keep adding and adding and adding. And I didn't want to like, um, how do I say, it? alter my style because of that. So there wasn't really nothing for me to render here. So it kind of just looks like, uh, I don't even know. It's definitely cute. I like it, but not one of my faves. And it was like, it didn't take me that long to like uh, color and stuff either. So it was not really a challenge, but it was a challenge that in the fact that I couldn't get myself to like it. But now that I'm looking at it now, it's not all that bad, but sorry. <laughs> but I like to like render like full fruit and like round fruit. So. Well, not full cause the one I'm about to draw is not full fruit, but I don't know. I'm definitely going to try a strawberry again, but full. I actually did render a couple full strawberries and I like them. I just don't think I like the cut strawberry thing. But yeah, definitely cute though. It's cute, but you know, I have my favorites. okay now for the papaya um this one was really surprising because of course pretty sure if you're watching this you probably um you probably watch my art on my instagram i've never drawn a papaya before and i was extremely scared to make this one look nasty as well because of the seeds and stuff and i know that could also give off that um 
uh what is it called uh tripophobia or tripophobia type of look and i did not want that so as you can see i kind of avoided them to the very end but rendering the uh the flesh was like really fun so you'll see that you'll see that finished one at the end i don't know why i didn't add it right there but you'll see it at the end you'll see it at the end but the peach the peach the peach it was this was like it was so so fun to see it come together because like as you can see right now it kind of kind of has an apple shape and like as i was rendering i was like why doesn't this look like a peach yet why it just looks like a uh, pink apple i'm like why does this look like a peach why does it look like a peach and i and i forgot to add like the butt crack in like the sketch so i think that would mess me up i ended up adding it later and it came together perfectly but i didn't under i didn't know that i was gonna have this much fun drawing the peach and this one almost took my number one spot for my new favorite like thing to render but i'm gonna i'm gonna say i'm 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 gonna stick this one on second place for second place of my favorite thing to render now because my number one place we already know is held by apples which is crazy because a lot of people don't know this but i'm actually like allergic to a lot of fruit like i'm allergic to uh apples peaches um i'm trying to think cherries oh my gosh i remember one time i ate a cherry and my lip swel swelled up so big it was crazy but cherries um i don't know if i'm allergic to kiwis but when i recently i ate a kiwi and i feel like I almost died but anyways i didn't show the pro i didn't show the finished one for that one either i don't know why <laughs> But yeah, moving on to Apple. <laughs> it's just a classic. You can't mess it up. It's really perfect. It's like my favorite thing. It's the first, the first fruit I ever drew. So I had to do it justice. As you can see, I did go a little overboard with the rendering, but that's like just fine because it looks it looks perfect. It looks perfect to me. Like I love it. Like as you can see, this is number one, my favorite apple and apples were like the first fruit that i actually found out i was like oh fruit makes my throat itch and my neck itch that's how i found out eating an apple and i was like oh mind you i've been like this for like a long time so it's not like i just found out like i've eaten an apple before but crazy thing is i still do eat apples even though i'm like allergic i either just like fight through the pain or i just take some medicine or whatever but that's not the point i had the little drops and stuff and as you can see i did like the same rendering process that i usually do cleaning up the edges and stuff and just amazing hopefully hopefully when you guys are watching this you guys are picking up on the skill i'm not even i'm like so i'm like literally yapping right now i'm only like, i'm just talking about tangent stuff like i need to stay focused but yeah that's how that turned out so let's go see what everything looks like <laughs> now you are seeing what everything looks like together i put it on a blue background because i like blue and i outlined it and this is what it looks like the finished product you'll probably see it you can go see it up on my page now these are all the fruit that i drew and yeah they all turned out really cute really like them all and yeah thank you for watching before you go we have to go over that important announcement so the special announcement is my merch so let's go look at the merch oh here's the watermelon yeah it's really oh nice this is the apple this is the apple keychain with this one oh this is the peach this is the peach the peach the peach oh this is the mango mango yeah then we got the pomegranate the pomegranate sticker in the papaya the papaya sticker yeah 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 the cherry and the last is the cherry that's really good thank you to the audience yaya rupert 